Hello and welcome to G-Man's Gaming. Uh, we're going with an adventure game today. I've not recorded in several months. You won't know because um, I upload daily, but I've had a break for a bit. And I've since got the webcam. This is going to be a bit of an odd one. I mean, why would you put a face cam on a point and click? Anyway, today we're doing Sam and Max. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Turn the volume down on my headset. Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that... You'll fry like a pork sausage. It's not that I don't like you, it's just that, well... You're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. <laughs> Knock. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. He's making no effort to undo that rope. Souvenir. Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. <laughs> Mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. <gasps> you didn't untie Might have to read with the subtitles. Ah, for the headset. Oop, too low. It's no full throttle credits, I'll give it that, but. <laughs> So you're aware, it's been a long time since I played this, so I, I'm I'm going off memory. If I check a word through, I check a word through. But I've only completed this once, if I remember correctly. First hour or two hours or so, I can probably do, and then I think after that I get stuck. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll see. Call one eight hundred Star Wars. Something interesting happened in the credits. <laughs> well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. <laughs> I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? 
Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops. Oh, yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. Yep. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Just... Hello? <laughs> yes? 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 No! Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Hey, right. Dude. Smooth jazz. Ooh, what's that? Can I get that? Me, me, me! Okay. <laughs> I don't look at anything. It's Max's roach farm. Can I grab the roach farm? No, that's Max. All our money is invested in that rat hole. Oh yeah, I remember. Money. It's cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. <laughs> I think everything's done in there. Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. <laughs> oh, brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Guess he had it coming to him. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. You're such an adorable urchin, Max. Mm, look, look out down here. Okay, let's go. No way, vehicles will be stolen. <laughs> vehicles will be stolen. How's that? I won't pick that kitten up. I don't know where he's been. Hey, Max, I need you. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Oh, that gives me an idea. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. <laughs> Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like guinea time. All right, can I turn off the subtitles for me? Text and speech. I want speech, I don't want subtitles. No way. There we go. Might speed up it a bit. I think it's pausing because of the subtitles. Somebody's been ripping off the U.S. Postal Service. Bosco's guns, liquor, baby needs. Hey, I don't think Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max. The smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? <laughs> That's telling him, little buddy. I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. All right, let's just skedaddle. Uh, 
Conwell's over here. Tom Nation and Blimey, he ain't here. So now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for him, you idiot. I knew that. <laughs> uh. Get out of Mr. Bumpus' way, you partially clad varmints. Who was that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. <laughs> You're a demonic little imp, Max. Whoop. Weird. Creepy. <laughs> hey, what's the holdup? Sorry, boys, we are closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Let us in, holy old breath. Nope. Oh. I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece and the tall one with the dark flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything <laughs> else? I'll be back. I can hardly wait. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, no. No! Yeah. Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. Uh, you burnt my thing. Uh, I guess you can go in. But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. <laughs> that was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Everything seems to be in order here. Sam, look over there. How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Yeah, but it's them. Hi, I'm Shep Cushman, and this is my brother Burrow. Welcome to our carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. See this melted block of ice? How could we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? <laughs> Don't be dense. <laughs> our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life, Bigfoot on ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? But Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free coin dogs, so we can uke all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? <laughs> Alright, let's grab some stuff. He looks delicious. <laughs> He's a nice guy, but sort of a drip. <laughs> How Kafkaesque. Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. Uh, 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 can I ask you some questions? Uh, which one do I talk to? Me! Me! Him! Him! 